Hey guys, welcome back to Van Creations. Today we're going to be fitting stainless steel sidebars to a Transporter T6. So the first thing you want to do is get your T6 up in the air and uh, put it on axle stands and uh, if you've got the benefit of having a ramp then ideal you get it up on the ramp. Go need to remove these under trays. You can do it by just undoing the edges and pulling the under trays down. But as we've got it up in front of us we're going to remove all these. Just an 8mm bolt on each one of these. Take all of these out throughout and drop your under trays down. That will give us access to the side bits where we're going to need to reinstall the side bars ready to put the brackets on. Right, now that we've got the under trays all removed and we can access the access holes for where we're going to bolt the brackets to, you want to have your brackets that are included in your kit. One of them is for the rear bracket, which has got this cut out, and uh, that goes around part of the van bodywork down there, and then your longer brackets for the front one. So these are going to be mounted up the top here and at the back, and we're going to remove these two little caps, two little rubber caps on the front, and two at the back. We're going to put our fittings into these points and mount our brackets to that. We'll mount them loosely to start off with and then we'll put the sidebars on, get them lined up and get them all tightened up. So we'll put the front one on and then the back one on and uh, we'll do this side first and then do the other side. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get hold of this uh, bracket, insert that into one of these holes, they go up at an angle and then they push back in the way they need to go. Do the same on the front one. And they need to be held in with your clips. So these, these little clips that hold them in, these need to be fitted, just slide them over the thread and then get yourself a hammer and a, a screwdriver and just knock those on to hold them in place. So you wanna slide these over the top of the thread, try and do the best I can without getting my hands in the way of the camera. And then just give those a knock on, just to hold those into position. So that when you're bolting those up, they don't fall up into the, the chassis of the van. Once you've got both of those fitted, you can then fit the bracket and bolt that up to it onto those bits. So we'll do the back ones and uh, then we'll come back to fitting the brackets. Okay, so now that you've got your studs fitted to the van, we want to be installing these front brackets. So you want to take the long bracket that's sided for this side with the bracket outwards to the outside there. And then what we want to do is slide that bracket in and get it over the studs like so. And then 
then you want to be using a flat washer and a lock-in spring washer as well. I'm just going to hold that into position like so and then put the nut on. That's just going to hold that into position for the time being. And then again, flat belly washer, spring washer and the nut. I'm going to do the same now for the back and then we'll get the side bar on. Right, so now that we've got the brackets fitted, these ones at the top here, we can grab our sidebar, and depending on which kit you've got, they come with various different fixings. This particular kit is a bolt going through into it. Sometimes you'll see them with a stud and nuts and uh, lock, lock washers again, but this particular one is a bolt that comes through from this side, and we're gonna mount the sidebar at the top and then just bolt through into it. It's, it's that simple. So we're gonna get that into position now, and then we'll bolt these in. Okay, so we've got our sidebars fitted and uh, these are all loose at the moment. We've left everything loose so we can actually move that sidebar around. If it's not quite square, it gives you a little bit of movement just to be able to adjust it as necessary. Once it's in position like this, I want to get these bolted up. So let's do up these nuts first that hold the bracket and, um, and then we'll, we'll do up our other ones there. So just want to nip these up. Again, depending on which kit you buy, depends on uh, the torque settings for these, if you're gonna run on torque settings. Sometimes it's uh, 18, it can be anywhere between 18 and, and 30, depending on which kit you buy and from who. So uh, on these ones, I'm just gonna nip those up to where they need to be. And then tighten up using a 17 mil. Our side bars, which have also got locking washers on. Just tighten those up as they need to be and we'll go to the back ones and we'll get these ones tightened. And Sometimes this job is easier on the ground and on axle stands. You don't have the ramp arms in the way or on a four poster. Then we'll tighten up our bar on the back. When installing these, just try and get that this bracket here. Try and get the the flats of it over the whole tube. If you find that one end slips off it, you might find that it will crush part of the tube. So, just try and get that square like that, so it's flat to the face of it, and um, and that's that's it fixed. So that's that's our driver side one done, and uh, we'll move on to the passenger side one. When we put the trims back in a minute, we'll be putting those back and we'll need to cut out round these bolts. So you just want to cut your under trays nice and neat round any of the bolts that are sticking down through the bottom of the van. So we'll move on to the passenger side, get that done, and then we'll put the under trays back on and uh, drop it down.
So when it comes to fitting the under trays, we want to be putting those back into position where they came from. And we're going to have to mark where these studs are at the moment on the, on the under tray. So we can mark those off and then cut out where those studs are going to have to go. So get that back into its position roughly. Don't worry about fitting it permanently because we just want to get it to somewhere near where it's going to be. And what we want to do is just mark where those studs are in relation to this. So we know we've got a, there's a stud here and we've got another one back here. And we're just going to cut those out to allow us for that under tray to fit nice and flush back up onto the vehicle. So we'll take that out now, cut those, do the same for the front and, uh, and then we'll refit them. So that's it for today guys on fitting the sidebars of a, for a T5 or T6 transporter. Uh, fairly simple task, can be done at home as long as you've got a jack or axle stands. Just make sure it's secure whatever it is that you're working on. Fairly easy job as well, I'd say a rating of like 1 to 2 out of 5. And allow yourself 1 to 2 hours just to allow enough time to take all your under trays off refit them properly and, and make the trims trimming up that you need you know that you require to fit it back on to go around the bolts and that um yes it's a different day yes i'm in a different outfit unfortunately i lost the video footage of the end of the other one and uh, we've had to refilm it but that's life that's what happens um i've got one of our new t-shirts on that we've just released it's a T6 and it's at Durdle Door, which is a local landmark to us, not far down the road. And uh, if you're interested in any of these, please visit our website and have a look on our online shop. It can be ordered through the website. If you can, please like and subscribe. Our YouTube channel helps us out massively. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll try and get more and more of these videos out. We've got loads in the pipeline. We've got loads that we've filmed but we've just got to get time to be able to edit them and get them on. As with most people at the moment, absolutely hectic. So uh, we'll try and get them out to you as, as much as we can, and hopefully we'll see you next time. So see you soon.